our lesson for today is the real number line and the subsets of the set of real numbers. We have here the real number line and um, this line is composed of different points where the point zero is represented here and then uh, we have one unit from zero to one which is the basis for the division of the line between one number to another. So this number line is equally divided. And we have positive numbers to the right of the real numbers in increasing order. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on up to infinity. And the negative numbers are to the left of 0. So we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on up to infinity. The subsets of the set of real numbers are as follows. The set of natural numbers, set n, is composed of 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on up to infinity. And the set of whole numbers is the set beginning with 0, and then you just add the set of natural numbers. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to infinity. And then we add the set of negative natural numbers represented by n negative. And if you combine this to the set of natural numbers, the set of negative natural numbers plus the zero, we have the set of integers. So what you are seeing along the number line are the set of integers. But there are points here which are not obvious in this number line, but these points represent a number. And so the numbers in between this represent fractional parts of a whole number. And these numbers also belong to the set of real numbers. And we have the set of integers which uh, comprises negative numbers, zero, and positive numbers. So if we look at the set of real numbers here, we are up to this, the set of integers with subsets, the set of whole numbers, and the set of natural numbers. The set of rational numbers is the set of all x's such that x can be expressed as a quotient of two numbers a over b with b not equal to zero, meaning the denominator should not be equal to zero. In mathematics, it is a mortal sin to divide by zero because dividing by zero is undefined. Examples of Rational numbers are the numbers here. 1 half, 2.25, negative 2.5, negative 4, and 2 thirds. And even the whole numbers here can be expressed as a fraction A over B. Take, for example, the number 4. The number 4 can be expressed as A over 2. So, it's still a rational number. And these numbers can be expressed as a fraction, like 2.25. 2.25 is 2 and 1 fourth. You can express that as a mixed number. Negative 2.5, you can express this as a mixed number, and you, you can locate it on the number line between um, the number a negative 2 and negative 3. So this is the point negative 2.5. Then negative 4 and 2 thirds. It is between negative 4 and negative 5. The 2 thirds here is in between this. So you divide this by 3 and then you get two-thirds part of that and add it to negative four going to the left. So this is the point 
negative 4 point uh, negative 4 and 2 thirds another set which is a subset of the set of real numbers but not belonging to the set of rational numbers is the set of irrational numbers it is the set i which is the set of all numbers x such that x is a non-repeating, non-terminating decimal. Examples of such numbers are radical numbers like square root of 2, square root of 5, square root of 7, square root of 3, which are not exact. But if you take the square root of 9, which is equal to an exact number, 3, then that belongs to the set of rational numbers. Another example is the number pi. Pi is usually rounded off to 3.1416. But the real value of pi is non-repeating and non-terminating. It is equal to 3.1415 and so on. The decimal equivalent of this is continuing on without repetition. So, we see that the set of rational numbers and the set of irrational numbers are disjoint sets. There is no common element between them. We can see that in this illustration, the set of real numbers is the universal set and then the set of natural numbers is one of the subset, then the set of whole numbers the set of integers, and then the set of rational numbers. All of these are subsets of the set of rational numbers. And the set of irrational numbers is a disjoint set from this set. But put them all together, you have the set of real numbers. And this set of real numbers is represented along the number line. By the way, the numbers from zero going to the right are increasing indefinitely and the numbers from zero to the left are decreasing indefinitely. Meaning that as you go to the left, the numbers are decreasing. So negative three, is less than negative 2 and negative 2 is less than negative 1. And that's all for our lesson for today. So if you find this lesson helpful to you, please like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for listening.